Another beautiful day in Patong, Phuket. It's Wednesday the 17th of March 2022 and as you can see it's stunning as it is most days. I've decided to go exploring again. So today I'm heading south. I'm going to um, head up the hill at South Patong there and have a look around. I don't think I can go too far. I've got to turn off and sort of head back a bit. But anyway, I'm going exploring to see what I can find. I found some amazing things, but I uh, didn't put them in this video because I found something else. So, I'm lazy along and I skip a lot of this and we get to the next section of the video where we're coming up this big steep hill. We'll have a look in the water. There's all these restaurants reopened, Thai and um, yeah, mainly Thai restaurants, but they sell alcohol and all that kind of stuff. So got the stunning views, so I'm going to go and check them out on another video. If I get up the top here, there's a shed, and there's an elephant in it. There's a lady there saying, okay, you can get your photo taken with the elephants, or you can feed the elephants, or what have you. So I don't hang around, I just keep going. So up the top of the hill, there's a place called Paradise Beach, and it's a really steep hill. And it's, but the beach is supposed to be spectacular, so I'm expecting a really hard walk down to the beach, but it'll be worth it if I can film it. Anyway, so head up the steep hill, you can see even on video how steep this hill is. I get up the top, there's a big sign Paradise Beach closed for filming. Okay, so I won't be filming. Filming something. Today. Okay, so I head back down again. Now I'm looking over to my left and I can see the water there. I'm thinking the views over there must be spectacular. So I decide I'm going to try to get into that elephant place that I think is closed. So I pull into the driveway. There's a car there, but there doesn't appear to be anybody there. So I decide to drive up to the gatehouse, and then as I see there's a, a sign on the window. There's nothing I can read, so I keep on going. Next thing, a Thai guy jumps out from the bungalow thing just up a little bit further and waves me up. So I ask him, can I go and have a look? He says, yeah, you can go and have a look. He says, but it'll cost you a hundred baht. And you ride up to a parking spot for your motorbikes and then a car will take you down to the restaurant. I thought, oh, pretty cool. So I pay a hundred baht and mosey on up. You give a ticket for him and you parking and then my, my staff look up there for your motorbike when you go to the beach. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this, this hill was really steep as well, but so pretty around here, so very spectacular. There's all animal yards on the right, I couldn't really see any animals in them, but later on I, I did see deer and buffalo and all that kind of stuff, so they do have animals there. Yeah, the views are spectacular. So anyway, I'm still thinking that, you know, I'm just going down to the restaurant and that's all it's going to be. So I'm happy with that for 100 baht, it's no big deal, I can go and have something to eat and have a beer. So this guy waits me in the parking spot, a friendly fella, and I'll have a bit of a chat and said, hey, look, we've got animals here, you can take your picture with them, and blah, blah, blah. And I said, can I go out on the lawn and have a look at the view there? Because I didn't know what to expect. You go, you gonna yeah, I'm not gonna, I yeah, so go out and have a look. And the next thing here's this big iguana in this cage. Yeah, pretty cool looking. 
pretty well fed to. The view, the water was beautiful. Next thing you know, they come and get me and said, hey, the car's going down to the beach, do you want to go? So I jump in the back of the car. It was a tuk-tuk. And this road was so steep, it was incredible. Like, that's why they take you down, because even riding a scooter like that, you wouldn't have accidents as they stop. It's just absolutely brutal. So, but again, more views, spectacular. So, still not knowing what to expect. I'm just oblivious to the whole thing. Finally get down to this little spot to see the restaurant. And it looks like an Instagram is paradise. There's all these huts and cabanas and picturesque things on Instagram and the views of the of the, the bay are spectacular. The next thing we pull up at this restaurant. I get out of the wrong side of the tuk tuk and start walking down the wrong side of the road. The guy says, hey, it's over here. So, okay, we can go around the other side. Okay. Start nosing down. And it's beautiful. The water's so blue. Yeah. Next thing we're in the restaurant. The restaurant people are so nice. And nice and yeah. You have change. And I think okay. So I'm just at this restaurant on a beach. This is really nice. I'm just gonna have something to eat, a beer or two, and enjoy a couple of hours down here. I order a beer. I'm gonna go find a really good seat. I think I'll just find a seat, pull up a beer and just have a bit of a look around. There's a couple of people swimming in the water over there, and there's people over the other side. There's a big hut up on the hill which I should have went to and taken some pictures of some video. A little hut there full of bananas, which I didn't know at the time, but that's the elephants that actually walk down to the beach. So I'll get down to the beach and have a look. So nice. Oh, it's so like so many other places in Thailand, it's um, postcard, postcard perfect. background there was a long tail boat going past and yeah, it was just beautiful and I'm thinking oh this is this is me for a couple of hours. Nice lunch in this restaurant, a couple of beers and that'll be my day. I wander around a little bit filming. Everybody's having a good time down there. Yeah, the people yeah. there are uh, just married a couple up in the hill, French people in the room. I know what I'm doing. Doing the Instagram thing up the hill there. That's another one. Okay, what do you know? Next thing, two elephants. I'm walking onto the beach. Okay, well this is okay. Because I didn't think this thing was going. Hello. I thought it was just yeah. open as a restaurant. Hello. They charge Hello. you a hundred baht just to get more money. the you car. Want... Next Give thing me some there, there's a little elephant. Yeah. He's coming down the, the right way. It turns out this little yeah. elephant was a character. He come over. Pretty much said good day to me. Yep. But then the boss man behind him told him to keep going. Mm -hmm. Behave yourself, oh. off you go. So he did. But he was really naughty, this little guy. It was funny. Yeah. Yeah. Did 
make raspberry noises there. Yeah, it's beautiful. So anyway, next thing you know, there's three uh, elephants on the beach. And the, the guys... Yeah, they're, they're catching them. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're talking to them, and the elephants are really, really well behaved. And, um, except for the little one that's naughty. And, um, yeah, I was just blown away. It was fantastic, so I took a video. And I was just enjoying it, and um, you can notice there one of the elephants is standing with his legs crossed. And um, I didn't notice, but um, elephants poo into the basket, so they don't leave mess on the beach. Yeah, so I was just um, mesmerised by these elephants, so it was just so nice. And next thing you know, the married couple comes down, because they were booked to have photos of the elephants. I filmed a bit of that. The lady was terrified. She screamed a number of times. In the meantime, the little elephant's not doing what he's told. He's facing the wrong way. He's supposed to be sitting next to the other elephant. He's just being naughty, making raspy noises. Alright. Alright. So it's time for some photos. Get up. Get up. Get up. Like, this place is really good. I think they treat their animals really, really well. All the animals look really, really well fed. And these people, these animals were well trained, but I don't believe they were cruel to the animals. I couldn't see any sign of cruelty the animals were. Oh, this little elephant, he okay. just had so much spirit to get up and go. And he just gives his trainer heaps. As you can see, he's playing up. Anyway, next thing you know, the elephant's uh, in the water. Got some more photos. I've got a really good view there. The little elephant's in the way, not going to be so nice. Hello! The other two. Hello. And he's picking up the little spray. Yeah, yeah. And blowing raspberries out again. Thank you. You're beautiful, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Yeah. He's cute. Absolute brat. I think they had a wonderful oh. time. There he is. Next thing here. Here. I say hello to him and he backs away and he makes a ah. raspberry noise. And then I go and give him a pat. <laughs> I'm really real impressed to be honest. Oh, hello. Hey, you hello. And then I think his boss hello. has a bit of a word hello. to him. You want to hold my hand? Oi! So I think an argument erupts there. Who are you taking me? Oi, Lang, oi. Doing, oi. Oi. Oi, oi. Then he decides to come and oh there he goes, he's blowing another raspberry, he's telling me to get nipped and telling the, the trainer to go away. Then he decides he's gonna come and say hello to me. So he grabs my hand. Yeah. He goes, that's enough. All right, I'll off. But no, it was a great day. I really enjoyed it. The married couple really enjoyed it. I bought the elephants some bananas. I didn't want to get in, get on the elephants or anything like that. I was just there to film it. I had a wonderful time. The people in the restaurant were fantastic. All the staff were great. And the place is absolutely beautiful. If I had it known, I would have taken the drone down and um, got some different footage and yeah, done it a bit different. But I'm learning as I go. Oh yeah, got it. Here we are, the elephants are eating the bananas, I bought them. So if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, it doesn't cost you anything and you'll be doing me a huge favour. If you hit the thumbs up button, hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every time I bring out a new video. 
which I, I plan on making three or four videos a week. Um, like I said, if you subscribe, you'd be doing me a huge favour. By all means, leave comments. That that um, just gives the channel more traction and it'll get me more views. And um, yeah, it'll be a real help. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy my videos and um, hopefully I can make plenty more. Bye.